of Let's Play uh, Lego Batman. I'm your host, Busted Giant, and in the last episode, we beat up the Mad Hatter. Dr. Harleen Quinzel was the Joker's psychiatrist at Arkham Asylum until she fell in love with him and reinvented herself as the Mad Cat villain Harley Quinn. She is an accomplished acrobat who will do anything to deter demonstrate her adoration of the Clown Prince of Crime. Joker spawners. This one doesn't work. Oh, I don't know if sometimes it does because in the previous take it didn't either. Hold on, I want to check something. Okay. One of the many Batman grunts. Ah, the Joker beans and henchmen. So, uh, I noticed that um, Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice is now on uh, HBO now, and I wanted to watch that today, but since. Uh, here, one sec. I'll get back to that in a little bit. Oh, there's a rat. Uh, this thing. I remember a couple years ago, I completely um, copied this um, this design and remade it out of my Lego collection. And right now, I'm actually looking at it. Like, it, like it's over in the corner right now. Um, like, I've got a huge Lego collection. It's super, super, super huge. But I, like, almost never use it. The only time I really use it is if I get a new Lego set, which I probably won't get anytime soon. And if there's a missing piece from it, I can just come down here and grab one. Like from my Lego collection, because I almost always have a spare that I can use. Like a spare Lego piece that I don't have, uh, that, that comes in the set. And I wanted to watch it today, but unfortunately, um, my dad, who uh, really liked the Man of Steel movie, uh, the Superman movie with Henry Cavill and, and, and Amy Adams. Um, he watched that, and I want to make sure that he's here, but unfortunately he's not here right now, and I forgot that I need to go over here and get into the demolition suit, and yeah. So, um... Uh, shoot, I don't need to go up against the wall there. Alright. Uh, destroy this thing. There we go. I don't know why I didn't blow up before. So, um... Let me see. I noticed when I looked up uh, Batman vs. Superman the other day, on Wikipedia, because I never really, because like I had only seen it once in the theaters, and I didn't understand why Batman wanted, was trying to fight Superman. I never understood why. So um, I looked it up and I figured out that Batman is one of many people who thought that Superman was a menace to society. So that answered that question for me. And um, uh, the Sonic suit for us. We may have. 
have to get back into this. I don't actually remember because I have not played this game in years. I haven't played this level in years. And, it, and this game still is bringing back memories of when I was younger and when I used to play this game. I don't, I don't have any of the Lego Batman sets um, that are from this era, like from 2008. I don't have any of those other sets. Um, but I do have some of the newer ones, like from the era of Lego Batman 2, because like, I have like the small Batwing and the uh, Joker character, with the weird Joker villain guy. I forget, are those vending machines? I feel like there's something that we're going to have to do in here if we want to get a link in. I think that, that's something that I think I remember. From this level. Something I need to do? Uh, no. Now, here's something that you're gonna need Robin to do. I don't know why I don't, never. Oh wait, no. No, I don't think I don't think we need to uh, worry about that. We can just both use the grappling hook. And then we can, um, both build this, if we need to just get across to that. Oh, if we need to, yeah, if we need to just go back, we can just fly across that thing. Or just walk across the type of, because this game was made in the era where you could not, like, just slide across the type of. the sixth civilian. Is this yeah. I knew I remembered that there was something back here that I that we were supposed to get. Like some stuff or something. Oh Goon spawners. Only true Lego fans try to pick up every single stud. Because every little bit counts. Even if it's only like 10 points, like a silver stud. 10 silver studs equals 1 gold stud. 10 gold studs equals 1 blue stud. 10 blue studs equals 1 purple stud. I'm gonna go over that again. Okay, so uh, the silver studs are worth 10 points. Um, 10 times 10 is 100, so um, that's how much gold, gold studs are worth. 100 points. Um, blue studs are worth, um, a thousand points, and purple studs, which are very, very rare. Well, not very rare. They're just hard to find. You don't see them a lot. Um, but you see them sometimes, but, like, in hard to reach spots. Um, those are worth 10,000 points. Whoa! Did you hear that? I heard this, like, harp or something. That usually means that there's like a mini kit. I think that's what that, that sound means. The sounds in this game are really interesting. Uh, another killer jack in the box right there. that uh, the film Joke was on HBO now. I started watching that a little bit. So far, not what I expected. I've read the Killing Joke comic. Um, so far, I like the comic better. Like, I haven't really gotten very far in the movie yet. Um, that I was in theater with, um, that the entire movie is kind of about Batgirl, that's why I feel like the comic is better. 
yes, she. She is somebody who really likes the comics and really wanted to uh, The main reason I like the uh, killing joke is because of the Joker. He's my favorite Batman villain of all time. Um, like, honestly, he is my very, very favorite. Um, I've been working on my Joker impression. I've, I've shown you guys a couple times. Uh, like, in the first episode, I had to, like, work on the lines a little bit. Because, like, the first take, I didn't have very good lines. Um, for the Joker. So I had to come up with some, but I think that the Joker would say. Um, so tell me what you guys think of that. If you guys, if you guys like that, I'll try coming up with something a little better. And if you guys didn't like it, you think I could improve, just let me know. Because I, I really want to, I really, really like to act like the Joker. Um, I really want to sort of, like, show my, um, my talent. One of my talents is, well, the Joker. Ooh. Oh my gosh! I never noticed that! thought of the story behind it. I think it's about, I think, like, the man is, like, this, this, this kid, uh, this kid who's, like, really creative, trying to create something, but at the end, it turns out that it's all in the kid's mind. Go get him, Harvey!
that was a good sound effect for um for Harley Quinn getting hurt. She goes, ah! Whoa, that bullet went right past the camera. If I hadn't moved around or anything, then um then um then that bullet probably would have went straight to the camera. That face up there that Commissioner Gordon held in his mouth never scarred me, ever. It never, ever, ever scarred me. I was not scared of it, ever. Even when I was like eight, when I first got this game, I never, ever was scared of it. Like, I knew that it was there, I just never thought about it. Batman to become the first Robin. After years of crime fighting with Batman, he became a solo crime fighter under the new identity of Nightwing. Um, and I think at one point, um, I, like I heard somewhere that, um, that uh, eventually, um, Tim Drake, after the, after he found out about the death of Jason Todd, went after, went to, went out to find Dick Grayson, aka Nightwing, uh, in order to, um, um, help him fight Batman again, or no, help fight with, or work with Batman again, because he knew that uh, Dick Grayson was a really good crime fighter, and Dick had accepted it under the condition that he stayed under the Elias as Nightwing no longer rocked. So yeah, anyways guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!